Hello again, it's me Sharon and today I'll talk about some of the things I did in high school and some of the courses that I took that I find helpful now that I'm in first year. But firstly I'd like to mention that everyone from UBC is from a different place. Whether it's like a different high school or a completely different country, everyone has like diverse levels of preparation and diverse resources. So these are just my experiences with what helped me out as a student in like the typical BC curriculum. So first, let's talk about the courses, especially AP and IB programs. So for anyone who doesn't know, AP and IB are programs that allow high school students to learn university level material and potentially use these courses for first year credit. So AP is mainly offered in Canada and the US, but IB is an international program. However, the availability of these programs will depend on your high school. So I would say that it is pretty common for um, first years to have learned the course material before in our math and science courses from the first term um, because they have taken like AP or IB courses. So for me, I took the AP science courses like chemistry and physics. Um, I would say that they really helped me out with my transition to university in terms of academics. Um, I found the courses quite a bit easier just because I was already familiar with the concepts. So especially with chemistry, I personally found AP Chemistry really helpful um, with Chem 154, which is the one chemistry course that all first year engineers have to take. So the material that I learned in AP Chemistry was almost exactly the same as all of the units in this big Chem 154 book, so it's pretty nice to have like everything down already. So just to add on to what I said before, um, even if you don't have AP courses or IB programs available to you, there's still many resources out there that you can learn from, especially by buying or borrowing AP textbooks or like finding some resources online. So for me, I actually didn't take AP Calculus during school, and since I thought it would be pretty helpful, I reviewed some of the material in the course um, during the summer before my first term. And I did this by going to the library, looking for any like AP Calculus textbooks, as well as some online resources like free worksheets or practice quizzes that I could work through on my own. And although I learned all this material on my own instead of like taking a class, I still found it pretty helpful because as soon as I got to Math 100 in my first term, I sort of knew what I was doing. So I didn't take any AP exams to receive first year credit, and I would say that most first years who took AP or IB courses, they don't really use it for math and science courses just because it's nice to have it like fresh in your brain for the next term or the next year. However, in first year engineering, we have to take one art selective and one English course, so the people who do use these credits, they most often use it to um, fulfill these requirements. And this may be a good choice for anyone who wants to like reduce their workload. So speaking of electives, some high schools might have like tech ed courses that could be helpful in first year engineering. In our applied science courses, we learn skills like programming or computer aided design or CAD as we call it, and some high schools might offer certain courses on these topics. And these can be pretty helpful just to be like familiar with the software involved so your assignments can run a little bit smoother. So fun fact about me, I didn't decide that I wanted to do engineering until like really late in the game. So most of my high school background was in science rather than tech and I had like absolutely no experience with programming which I was a little bit worried about. However, as soon as I got here, I did meet quite a few other people who have never tried programming or CAD before. So I would say that tech ed courses can be pretty helpful, but if you have never taken any or if your school doesn't offer any, then um, you definitely won't be alone. So in general, when it comes to high school, I think it's pretty important to work hard, not just for the grades, which everyone is stressed about, but also to really understand the material so you can have a solid foundation for your university courses. So at UBC, we follow a schedule with two terms that are like only three months long, so courses can feel like they go by really quickly, and sometimes I feel like there isn't as much time to learn things as in-depth as I would in high school. Since high school is at like a much slower pace, I would say that it's a really good opportunity to like take your time and fully understand the concepts of your courses that you'll need to apply later on in university. In fact, I still have this big box of old notebooks that I kept from high school because they have some in-depth and detailed explanations of some concepts or calculations that I still use today. So for some last advice, I think that even though it's a good thing to like challenge yourself and push yourself to take harder courses in high school to sort of prepare for the workload, I think one of the most important things is to develop efficient and healthy study habits. So in high school, everyone is really stressed about getting into university and you might feel pressure to study really, really hard or to stay up really late, but just know that it's not worth it to sacrifice your health and like develop these bad habits just because your transition to university will be so much easier if you already have good habits in place and you know how to take care of yourself. 
So I wish the best of luck to anyone who's planning on applying to UBC and if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.